was a fish that bite. He took my minnow. Oh, we got him. Like so. Winter storm watch. Wind gusts of 70 to 80 kilometers an hour. Holding down the fort. Hello, welcome back to another video. Today we are in southern Saskatchewan and we're going to be camping on the ice tonight. I've actually never been to this lake before. It's supposed to be very big walleye in this lake, so hopefully we can do well. I'm going to get some holes drilled and start setting up the tent. That's deeper, but it's not quite the 40. I think we'll set up here with 27 feet of water. Let's do it. We gotta go get the truck though. Put some uh, some pegs in, start shoveling it out, and get fishing. Let's go, baby. Oh yeah, I think that's good enough for now. We are all set up now. It's a beautiful day today. I hope you guys are having as good a day as I have. I did get stuck just coming on the lake. Managed to get unstuck thanks to my trusty shovel that I had been getting quite a bit of use out of lately. Got the cot here. We are doing an overnight camp tonight. Um, I soaked my heater right when I got here. So hopefully it starts up. I dropped it in the snow face first. Let's try to catch some fish and then, uh, then we'll get setting up camp. Screw it, let's get the cot set up right now. All right. Can I just say how nice it is to have like so much room? Shout out to my brother Matt for letting me use the shack. It is luxurious in here, let's see. That's pretty you got yourself. Drill for our anchors. We're gonna need to do that soon. Remember, when dealing with propane, always twist it left to go in. It's not the same. It's lefty tidy instead. It's not righty tidy. Just a pro tip from your boy Dobie. Finally, oh my God. Honestly had to push that thing down probably 250 times. Don't take heat for granted. Okay. I bolted us down at every corner, so I don't think we're going anywhere now. I'm gonna get my other rod set up. I might even just leave this on. Back on. Let's see if there's some fishies down there. Oh, there is. I only have my fish finder set to uh, nine degrees. So that means like, if there's a fish on there, he's under my hole. It's not like far away. He's actually under my hole. So there was a fish there for a second. It's not there anymore though. All right, guys, it's gonna be kind of a treacherous night tonight. So it's actually gonna blizzard tonight, like all night. And it's gonna be like consistent 30 to 50 kilometer an hour winds. That's why you've seen me bolt this whole thing down. And it's currently like 25 kilometer an hour wind. It actually can gust over to 65, they say. I'm gonna go shovel some snow all around onto the skirt just for that extra protection because I don't want, the, I don't want this to fly away in the middle of the night. So let's go do that. Set this in here and loosen up the drag in case we get snagged. Gotta vent the knees, baby. Whew.
going to elevate this bad boy because we don't want him to melt all the ice in here. Much better. Much better. You know what? My mom had this brilliant idea of when I'm in the shack and I'm sleeping overnight, bring my slippers and then I can dry my boots off during the day. So that way I can go to bed with my liners on and make sure that they're dry. And then maybe just kind of set these in front of the heater like so. T-shirt weather in here though. Okay. I'm not marking any fish, but I'm starving so. I'm gonna bust out like my only meal I really have today, and that is um veggies. Please don't overflow on me. It's packed pretty tight, and some hummus. So I'm gonna dive into this and get some. Maybe I just need some food in my belly, and then the fish will come around. So classic cookout legs. You know the vibes. Delicious. All right, he took my minnow. I'm getting back down there though, getting back down there. Hopefully he doesn't run away. Hopefully he's a hungry one. Come on, come on. Okay, we're back down there. Oh, we got him. Oh, did he get off? Did he get off? He got off, what the fuck? He ate it off the bottom and then got off. You're kidding. Fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. Nice. Let's go, baby. Woo! First fish of the day. And it's a nice wally. That's supper, baby. Come on. First wally of the day, baby. That's dinner. That's a little smaller than, but that's dinner. That's, that's awesome. That's first fish of the day, baby. Got him on the jig in a minute. I'm gonna throw this guy outside and uh, put him out of his misery. Let's go, baby, we're on the board. We're eating good tonight now, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we need and now we're not gonna starve. Now it's just like, you know, casual. You know, we're not gonna starve to death. Now we can, you know, just take the stress off fishing. We're still gonna get more, but now we just got that stress off. Food in our bellies now. We caught him on this uh, jig in a minute here, so we're gonna stick with it. Filleting table. Okay, I got our filleting table here. I want to go just behind the fin here, like so. Ah, we lost a run some meat there because I suck at filleting. Those are some trash fillets. I lost on some meat here and here and here, but only practice makes perfect, right? Okay, I think that's it, guys. Look at those butchered fillets. We should have way more meat than that. I really suck at filleting, so. I need to get better, guys. Oh my god, my stove is dirty. It needs to be clean. Get this rice cooking. Trying to boil over. Turned it down, but it can only go down so far, so just let a little bit of heat out. Maybe try to turn it down just a little bit further. All right, the rice is about halfway done. So let's get that walleye on there and get it cooking because I am dying for some good food right now. All I'm running off today is like some hummus and like a couple bell peppers. So this is going to be pretty good. The olive oil's frozen from that little bit that it was in my truck. Come on, there we go. Just had to thaw it out a little bit. 
pepper, salt, garlic, and dill. Guys, a little flip here. All right, this is done here. Look at that. Woo. Catch and cook, baby. Take some of this rice. Woo -hoo -hoo. How about that, eh? Don't worry. I'm not a total savage. I am going to put some soy sauce on my rice. Right. A little bit of salt and pepper. How you doing? Good to know you. A little bit of pepper for the dead homies. Ooh. How you doing? He says, you don't want to watch me eat the rice. You want to see how this fish is, right? Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Ha! Oh. That was cooked to perfection. This guy, he was in the lake like two hours ago. And now he's on my plate. Oh, I love life. That is otherworldly. All right, I'm going to sit here and enjoy my food, guys. Hopefully next time you see me, I'll be hooked up on another one of these guys that we can take home. I'm going to fish into the night, probably fish until it's actually like right dark and then see if the bite's even there because I had that one bite and nothing ever since. Try to catch a burbot, something weird like that. I don't know. We'll see. I'll let you guys know. This got hit twice and I missed him. I had him on the one time and he spat the hook and then... Oh no, guys, the heater went out. I thought I had more propane than I actually did. Luckily, I do have some one pounders. All right, we got heat again. All right, guys, so actually, I've had two fish on, both while I've been in bed and caught off guard. The fish somehow know when I'm in bed and that's the only time they strike. So yeah, literally I was laying in bed all tucked in, you know, cozy. I was watching this video on uh, who would win in a fight, Native Americans or Vikings. And then I see my rod like flexing and flexing and flexing. So I grabbed it, picked it up and it felt heavy instantly. And I was like, oh my God, like I was holding it up here, undoing my zipper, undoing my zipper. And I'm like trying to get it. And then I was trying to get the camera on. And then by that time, the fish was off and it w it wasn't a pike because it wasn't running and it was a walleye because I, I felt the head shake off and it felt heavy like winter storm watch wind gusts of 70 to 80 kilometers an hour all right guys it's about 11 o'clock now the moon's out bright tonight you hear the uh, coyotes howling i think it's about time for bed got all the windows vented safety first guys See you guys in the morning for the morning fish. Good night. Oh my god, oh my god. I just caught a fucking monster burbot. Look at the fucking belly on that thing. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. All right, back to bed now. Seriously, this time. Holding down the fort. I'm gonna have to start packing up. I can't really though, because this wall keeps caving in. I'm just sitting here holding it up. I'm gonna try and get everything packed up I can with my fishing rods and stuff. Start moving it into the vehicle. It's about 2.30 a.m. We're gonna have to get off the ice because uh, this tent's not gonna hold. It's gonna cave in.
morning guys uh, we're still on the lake I had to uh, frantically pack everything up last night as the winds probably got close to like 80 kilometers an hour the whole tent was collapsing it was actually a very treacherous experience but we survived and it's still blizzarding outside it's a whiteout currently but we got to get off the lake somehow it's not too far to get off the lake like i can see the shore it's maybe 80 yards quick disclaimer it was not 80 yards it was actually a lot closer to a kilometer i must have been high off of carbon monoxide poisoning or something and we're currently in deep snow i'm gonna gather some strength and get outside and shovel thankfully i have a shovel so i can dig myself out of anything it's just how much elbow grease am i gonna need and how cold is it gonna be out there so Okay, so little update. We got out of where we were stuck originally, and then I got stuck in another snow drift because you can't see anything. It's just white everywhere. Got out of that one, got a little bit closer to shore, and now I'm stuck in another one. It's just so much shoveling, so much digging. I'm just taking a break right now. It's just like a lot to do. I'll probably pick this up when we're, uh, when we're off the lake. All right, guys, I finally made it out. I got some Subway. Um, I'm in a town called Chamberlain. I'm about two hours from my brother's house, so I still got to drive ahead of me. Take this as a lesson, guys. When you see that there's a storm coming, don't go fishing. I thought it would be sweet and, you know, get content. It, it, it was stupid. It was pure stupidity on my part. It was very dangerous. I could have got stranded out there and uh, eventually did get off the lake, but just learn from my mistakes. Don't, don't do that. It's one thing to go out and do that, with someone but it's another thing to go do that alone which is very dangerous you know i don't have a lot of food and water i was running out of gas it's just not a good situation to be in so sorry to end this video on you know such a kind of serious note but um i'm gonna eat this subway and i'm gonna get headed back to my brother's house and hopefully just relax i'm gonna fillet that burbit and uh have a burbit feast tonight i hope you guys did enjoy this video please drop a like for uh <laughs> me braving the storm for some content for you guys and if you really enjoyed it it would really mean a lot to me if you could hit that subscribe button if you want more content like this but i won't be going out in a storm again i'm not doing that so until next time guys take care peace